Hey traders, it's October 9th, 2013, and today I wanna discuss shorting Netflix and Tesla step by step. So you're watching Trader TV, and I'm gonna share with you exactly what I did today for shorting Netflix and Tesla, so you can get an idea to raise your game and to raise the bar for yourself. Remember, it's not about me, it's about you learning and getting to the next level. So this is just my way to contribute back and help out for a great cause in hopes of you guys also contributing back sometime in the future as you evolve your game and become more successful. So looking at Tesla, I wanna share with you exactly how I did this over the last couple of days. And Tesla's been heading higher as you can see over the last few months. And why did I go in short? Well, looking at the volume here, we noticed that the volume was increasing to the downside, big red bars. Very simple to understand, okay? Now, when I zoom in on, we're gonna take the 30 minute right here, the 30 minute time frame. I noticed that the volume here already was increasing to the downside. It was topping off, topping action. So I played it here as well to the downside, but I'm not gonna discuss this. Here's what happens is because we already saw this telltale sign, this is a little bit more of a safer route to take. Since we already saw this, if you're able to spot these, then by all means, great. But if you weren't, you notice that it was heading down. It was a telltale, kind of like in cards and poker, you know, it tells you that, hey, I'm going uh, to the downside. And usually they don't just go for one day. Now what happens is they'll go down here and then they'll bounce. Uh, you know, all these people that made great money over here on the downside, they'll, they'll buy it back up for the next few days. And again, now you're watching these key levels. So right here, um, I added to my short position, so I sold more short for those of you that are new. Uh, right here, I was watching this key level over the few days. So from the fourth, uh, from the fourth, to the uh, seventh over here. This was our uh, main resistance. It broke up. Um, you know, Elon Musk sent, sent out a letter and oh, now the car is fine and so on. People got more confident or the market bounced up, whatever. Doesn't matter really. Uh, but then it hit here again, support level bounced up, hit it here. And when it broke to the downside here, this is when I entered short right here at that 179 level. And, uh, you know, things went down uh, pretty good. So here I sold some shares. And then uh, right here, I was watching this level now. Now I'm watching this level right here. It bounced off of that level. And, you know, right here is our other level. So here I'm watching that main level. You can see, you can see this main level extends for about a whole month, okay? So we're looking at that month time frame on the 30 minutes. So each tick is 30 minutes. So now it's going and heading down even lower. So I add more shares to my position. So again, it continues lower and I sell, you know, another quarter into, uh, into uh, strength over here. And then as it heads lower, then, you know, I take some off. I take some off the table. I take some profits, you know, and that's what stocks do. That's what happens. And now it's, it's kind of, you know, pushing up against this 170 level, but it can't get through it yet. Now, where is it gonna go? I don't know. Nobody really knows. If you're playing it from a speculative position, so let me be clear again. If you're playing from a speculative, a directional position, you have to take profits as things go in your favor. So over here, I'm watching the volume, I'm entering in it on volume, and you know, you can do the math, but I'll just tell you right now, I bought over a thousand shares, okay? Well, sold short over a thousand shares. So here, sold short, took some off, let's say I take off a quarter, okay, stock goes fine in my favor and I, I leave that 180 as my stop, it goes down lower, I add back that quarter possibly or just half of that quarter that I took off. So let's say I took off 200 shares here, I may uh, put back another uh, 100 shares over here, okay? Um, and then again, you ride it down, but now I take my stop and I make it 172. So if the stock hits 172 or 173, I'm out, you know, and I take my profits, and that's the nature of the game, and that's a step-by-step -step play. Now, if you buy five shares, or you just start out with just four or five shares, by all means, do that, because the name of the game is the craft. It's the art and the, uh, and the system, so you gotta get your system down if you're doing speculative trades. Once you're consistent with five shares, Yes, you're gonna be losing commissions. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna lose money on commissions because you might not make as much, 
Okay, you might not make enough to cover your commissions, but you're gonna learn how to trade properly. So start with five shares, 10 shares, whatever you can, one share or two shares. I, I would say start with three shares because then you're able to take some um, into strength or profit. So you're able to take one share off or another share off, but you're gonna see and then multiply it times a hundred, a thousand. That's your possibilities. So don't get stuck that, hey, oh, I don't have enough money to trade a $200 stock or, oh, I don't have enough money to trade you know, a $500 uh, stock. So don't worry about that. Just get the system down first. You got years to learn this business. If you're in it for the long haul, you got years. Same thing with Netflix, okay? Look at this one. Okay, I watched this one uh, for quite some time and you'll notice I trade the same stocks over and over because they're the movers, they're the shakers. That's what moves and that's what I want to be trading and I know them, I know how they move, I know how they react. This one I'm watching here again. Here was that uh, daily uh, support and resistance line and as it broke, I didn't know it was going to break uh, to the downside too much. I mean, I had an idea. It was a speculative play. Okay, volume to the downside here and here. You know, it wasn't amazing at this point, but it, it kicked in right here. A lot of down volume. So right here, uh, yesterday, the other day, at about 3.13, you know, I entered short. And again, I sold or bought back some shares into strength. Then again, right here, I'm watching the low of the day. I put back those other shares that I sold over here. I went short again, and then again, I bought back some of the shares. So now I'm using, you know, about the, the 302, 303 as my stop, just because, uh, you know, if the stock hits 300, 300 is a fine line. Those 100, 200, 300, the century marks are, are pretty solid um, support and resistance level. So I'm using that 300 as a stop. So we'll do like 301, 302, 303 as a cushion because the big stocks, you got to give them a little room to run. They're not just 50 cents here and there. They move 50 cents within a blink of an eye. But that's what you do. That's the way you play the play. That's the way you trade the trade. And that's how you do it. I mean, you know, let's just say you had 100 shares. 100 shares at, let's say, 310 to 284. So what is that? Uh, 15 point run uh, plus another 10. So 25 point run, 100 shares. Okay, do the math. It's fantastic uh, business out there. And if you, if you can leverage it, if you, if you are willing to stick with it, um, then you'll be okay. But uh, it takes patience and determination and uh, you gotta stick with it and you gotta start uh, pushing yourself. You, if, if something's not working, then try something new. However, you can't be bouncing around vehicles all the time, meaning you can't be bouncing around, oh, I'm gonna trade Netflix today, then I'm gonna trade uh, Cisco the next day, then I'm gonna trade the, you gotta know your trades, you gotta know your vehicles and stick in that vehicle. Learn that vehicle inside and out and then wait for it, wait for it to set up. I don't, I don't make trades all the time every day. I'll watch my income trades, uh, for example, uh, option spreads and things like that, but. For these types of trades, you know, I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for them to set up for, let's say, a whole month. And when they set up, boom, I'll play it to the upside. Or boom, you'll play it to the downside. And that's how you do it. You know, it takes time and patience in this business, and that's how you make it work. Anyways, I hope that was a little bit of good insight for you. Uh, I got some great material coming out, um, some great uh, DVD courses that people asked me to make, uh, some trading play-by-play -play stuff. So uh, I'll have three new courses coming soon. And, uh, you know, if you want to check out some of my uh, other videos, some information, just go ahead, check out tradersfly.com. If you want me to review a stock for you, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. I love how I can help you out. So write me a comment, write me a message. If you got a question, if you're new, if you're in high school, if you're in college, I don't care. I'll help you out as best as I can with as much time as I can. Um, you know, so don't be scared. Just leave me a note and uh, I'll do my best. So uh, that's kind of it for the wrap up for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, all the good stuff is at tradersfly.com. Thanks again. I'm Sasha Evdikov and I'll see you next time.